Oh, hey everyone on board. I'll be your Captain Hillian today, uh, along with... Fearsome First Mate Drakir at your service. And I should really, I should do something about that. <laughs> the game just flashing black uh, for its moment there. That's actually because it's changing from one source to another one. I should probably just duplicate all of the game capture ones over to the pre scene, so that won't happen anymore. But uh, yeah, welcome back to Serial Cleaners, the fifth stream of this. Um, yeah, we've been we've been pushing this one a bit hard. We, it, it isn't that we want it to be over. Uh, we have shared our complaints about it, but we still really freaking enjoy it. Yeah. So, yeah, let's continue on. A failed heist. And we need to clean up a, an art gallery now. Because, oh dear. yeah, the cleaners are at each other's throat in the present time. Because someone spreading tales that there's a traitor in their midst. Which, well, I'm guessing that's actually someone else. For now, though, are you in? we can skip this since we already saw it. Yeah. I, I said this, I like the game so far on some aspect, but there, there is... I do feel slightly disappointed. Yeah, they made big jumps and they, they landed most of it, but they have stumbled a little bit on the story. We'd say it could just be that we're both too dense to really get the, the complexities of the story. It's either that or they were very sloppy with it. I didn't see that there's a camera there. Let's sneak down quickly and grab this key. Square key. Back it could also just be... I made it... I don't know. I hate to say this. Maybe it made this story accidentally generic? Hmm. Perhaps. Let's see if we can like, climb like, up like here. It feels like it's... The first game had a, a certain little spark and charm. This feels like it's kind of missing here. Now, it's still interesting. It, it, I think one problem that might be is that, uh, yeah, the, the first one was very uh, was very different from a lot of ga uh, other games. So. It's a bit of a sequelitis thing, that the sequel of something will never feel as uh, special as the first one will. So. That's one of those things I usually don't care about. I don't really believe that too much for... I usually don't judge, like, that game is better than the other, usually. There's rotation will do it if I feel like there's a reason for it, but usually not. Like, I feel like they have upgraded a lot of things. Just, there's something with the story. I don't know if they... Maybe they bit off more than they could chew? I think that might be it, with the, the big leap in other things. Also, why are there two bags of just cash? I like... Like, I know they tried to rob this place, but I'm pretty sure art galleries aren't supposed to hold that much cash here. Yeah, with the, the big jump from 2D to 3D, uh, voice acting as well added in, mul multiple characters to write for. It could be that they just stretched themselves a little bit too thin on everything, but still overall very good. Yeah, just... Hmm. Maybe they will need it a extra year. Of... Oh no. Please that. This game was obviously worked on during the pandemic, wasn't it? Uh, it came out in September of 22, and we don't know how long they worked on it. And mm. yeah, for if they only worked it on for one year, then that would explain the story problem. I, hmm. I wouldn't exactly call it a, a problem or like a shortcoming and find the hidden stash. Yeah, for okay. I noticed that many games that came out during the pandemic had uh, a bit of a quality issue, so to speak. Let me actually do a quick little look as to when 
the first game came out again. In the meantime, let's see. Okay, it's on the it's on the second ground floor. Probably would be more accurate. Hmm. I think that's. Hmm. Now, I actually don't know if that is more of an American thing or not. Ooh. To have the what we would call the ground floor or what the the floor that meets with the streets to have that be called ground floor or first floor i don't know exactly if it's a dead end for carrying like that yeah so that's one of the things like some people understand when i say first floor they understand it all, but then some people will get snapped to say no that's the ground floor even in swedish okay. This so, guy. That's a, so that's one of those weird things that, well, it's really not as uh, bad like a lot argument. They just, uh, no, that's just called that, that, uh, that I really to disagree moment. But I heard from other countries, it can actually develop into a heated debate with that simple topic. Okay. Then again, um... I, I don't understand. Not like many of the Swedes and other Scandinavians, as far as I know, we tend to not really like to argue or argue over something ridiculous, for that annoys us. So if you were to bring up, try to argue over someone ordering pineapple pizza, I can swear to you, there's a likelihood that there is we, at least this, a sweet or another scanner, we look at you and wondered, oh, here we go again, another child. And I think the elevator just jammed. That's bad for us. <laughs> Maybe we should have waited with this until we were done with everything else, because we just made everything a lot more difficult for us. I'm not surprised. But yeah, for we've understand here. Things like Panado Pizza, we, we just have a matter of you do you. That's it, new arguments. Okay, we just You're found a lot of cash. <laughs> That explains why, the, well, there was all those, those bags of cash. And Chivio, the first Chivio Cleaner came out in 2017. So, yeah, they could have had plenty of time to work on this, but I didn't see if they have... I've yet to see if they did anything other. Let's see, the developer was Draw Distance. So let's have a little look if they have anything else on Steam as well. Yeah, for... That means if they have started work on it, they could have been working during the pandemic and... Yeah, let's agree. That many games that have worked during the pandemic, including movies, many of them had... a bit of a quality issue. Or the drawbacks. So, I did say during the pandemic uh, that I'd be give some developers some slack for now that working during a pandemic is hard. Let me see. Uh, let me actually pause for a moment here so I can get a good look. Uh, let's see. Where is... Oh. <laughs> Ink is clawing at the door, so that gives me an excuse to step away for a moment. Okay, looks like we won't have ramp. Okay, no, she just jumps in straight into her cardboard box that I use for paper trash, and she goes and sits. <laughs> uh, let's see. It seems that draw distance has... Wait. Okay, they have two vampire games here. Let's see. I'm, I'm using the Steam... Uh, <clears throat> I'm using the Steam app for this, so that might not be the best. Uh, let's see. A game called Ritual, but... Wait, did, did they not make the sequel? Let me see. Uh, serial... And then Cleaners. Okay. Yes, yes, stupid age thing. You know how freaking old I am. Just stop asking that. Let's see. Okay, still... The Still made by draw distance, even though it didn't really show up on that page. But then again, it's an app, so it can be rather limited. Dude. Dude. Okay, straight with the gun out. Oh dear. But yeah, I, I'm. I'm just. 
I'm more tempted to chalk it up a bit to a bit of overstretching of their capabilities or something like that. Yeah, and I could see that for... Again, I'm impressed by the game. Do I feel like they could do themselves a service to... ...reduce the main characters? Do... It depends how long it has been developing. And again, if they were already working on this during the pandemic, that would make a lot of things harder. Yeah. Especially when it comes to... Okay, that depends on voice actors. But some voice actors have their own personal studios. But not everyone does. Yeah. Oh. Okay, this thing doesn't fully block slime and Are these supposed to be functional cars? <laughs> Or just sculptures in the shape of cars, because this this one seems a bit with odd with the roof like that. That's going to turn. Oh, uh, it's, it's just one of those damn sport cars where the, the roof is low, and I think those are just painted sports cars. Let's see. We can't actually read the things there, so well. Okay, if we f actually if we fail, we'll get reset back to when the. <clears throat> the elevator is already busted. Okay, one more body and two pieces of evidence. And what the heck are you up to, Ink? Okay, she's just twisting and turning into her box. Let's see. Do we have any more stiffs up here? We have big evidence. And, nope. yeah. We were, we were somewhat... Uh, one thing we were not really complaining about, but that we both noticed, damn it, is that there doesn't seem to be as much uh, enemy variety, so to speak. But they are popping up now, so I, I'm getting... Part of me is feeling like we are approaching like the ending, but another <laughs> half of me feels like we have another half to go. Where they go look like who the hell is trying to set us all up and such. Yeah, it they, they did see earlier final chapter. Not true. And but I should probably say this. This is not our final verdict. We probably say our final verdict to to after we finish the game. So us like, still enjoying the game but also complaining. It's not our final verdict. That's what we feel so far. Yeah. Is he still have a chance to uh, at least be back on the store department? Yeah, everything else, the graphics, music, and just the upgrades from the first one. That is all just, well, that's all golden, I'd say. The only small thing I would say is a lack of uh, lip syncing, but lip syncing is a, can be quite a frustrating thing to do in a game. Yeah. Because you can either animate that by hand or use motion capture and you know, the first takes a lot of time and the other is expensive. Yeah, I don't think they did any lip syncing with these uh, animations, which I yeah. guess works. Since if you, you'd use these models you're using now, that they don't use any uh, animation, that, that I would say just works. Yeah, the, the fact that they didn't use it at all is better than trying to piecemeal it, I'd say. Yeah. It's another fucking bag of money. But oh, so it. far, my biggest issue, well, uh, probably is why I said here, and I feel a bit disappointed, is the whole uh, who's the traitor thing. For it's one of those tropes I very tired of, especially when everyone suspects everyone. Yeah, it, it, they are a smart bunch, so I think they will figure out we are being played by another party here. And it's more of an in-the-moment thing. And, well, they have been drinking already as well, so that also isn't helping. Yeah, but, oh. then also there's the, the us, if we are naive enough to think that no one of them is a the traitor. So it has to be the, the one that says traitor is the one that is the least likely to do it. This guy's being annoying. One small thing I would add uh, in 
what I would ask to be added in is to have this have it featured to have the time progress normally and not just slow down. Like you hold the trigger and then press something to, well, have it not be slowed down. Oh. Maybe. But it, that is a small thing. And we haven't really used it much as what, either. Okay, hopefully um, that'll distract him long enough. And yeah. Mm -hmm. You are aware what you walked into, right? Yeah, pool of blood. <laughs> well, water as well, but... That's still a lot of blood for that pool, shower pool to be like that. Uh, it's more like the, the water gets dis it gets diluted so much uh, that it turns red. But mm. yeah, you will need, need a lot of some blood for that, that to happen. But that looked pretty thick. No, well, not thick enough to actually stick. But then again, that'll oh. be also a gameplay thing. And gra more graphics thing. Okay, quickly. Yeah, but it, it is a raising of concern over what the yeah. heck happened here. Hmm. I need to do a bit of a calculation of how uh, how much blood there is in a human body to be lost to the amount of volume of water in such a small thing as to how much that would actually thin things out. Which, how shower it is, I'm guessing maybe three people minimum? Definitely mm. not one. <laughs> oh, come. come on. Okay, at least we got a save with the drop off. Okay. We haven't used our uh, ability to tag any in a bit, so we might want to do that sometime soon. Sneak around this guy, let's not jump up in front of this one. Oh no, I just, I just remember a few SCPs from this. No. And I'm not thinking about the Red Lake. I'm not thinking about that one. Damn it. I think of, uh, oh, I forgot its, forgot its number. A name, but uh, the sea monster that gives you that the phobia you have just worsen it to all water. And if it wants, it can drag you through a glass of water to its domain. I th I'm pretty sure I've read of that. I think the Vulcan did a video on that one as well. Uh, many have done that, and some even done animations. And and I ended up watching. As well. uh, what? I have, yeah, there's one SCP channel called SCP Illustrated, and I'm pretty sure I haven't seen anything by off. I haven't watched anything of them in quite a while. Oh, there's many now, like the rubber and the infographics graphics version, which they actually are quite good. Uh, Detective Void, and there's many animated ones that explains the story as such now. Don't it? Does it? I think. Yeah, there's even one called Dr. Bob. I know Dr. Bob. And Is he your doctor? Uh, he claims <laughs> to be, though I give him about as much credibility as Dr. Zed. Ridiculous. <laughs> Where you going? But yeah, many of them had uh, covered that uh, specific SCP. I asked. There's so many numbers that it's hard to keep track on many of them. Yeah, I've had an I've had an idea or two for an SCP as well, though I'm not sure if I have the writing chops to actually make a store uh, to actually write for one, and not just an odd object or such, but with more of a interesting story and such. Yeah, I actually had a few. Many I probably have forgotten by now, but they nowadays they do will do quality checks. Yeah. So it's not guaranteed you get posted or not. More cash. But then also the whole thing that you probably should also try and have some mystery behind them and all that. Yeah. 
go. There we go. We still need to clean up some of the blood. But then we are done. Just gotta wait for this guy to move. Because he will totally shoot us in the back if we try to run from him. Oh dear. I also saw something upstairs. Who? Oh? Because I know that people want one of us at least to joke about. And that be? It's probably funny if I just show you if you get upstairs again. Okay, first let's get rid of this though. Still need to go around and clean up a bunch of blood. Probably best outside since there's the most of it. Just stick our vacuum cleaner in the pool and let it suck everything up. Probably would explode from that. Yeah, all right, to the art exhibit further down the hall on the other side of the building. I try not to get caught. The room past the blood. For a moment, I wasn't sure if you said blood or blonde, but yeah, past the blood. <laughs> the on and off switch and such. All right. Banana. Ooh, yeah, banana. you're going totally bananas. Uh, I hope no one just threw away the uh, peel on the ground for... <laughs> Let's be honest, we don't want Yayan to slip about. That's a jump, that's a throw point, not a jump point. This is a jump point, though. Oh, <laughs> we ended up... Uh, just barely dodged that. Dude, you could shoot over that. Damn it. Wait. Why are you going in there? Hey, hold on. Are these what? No? Yeah. What? These are the SWAT ones, I believe. And I think we're just going to have to run for it for a bit. There's, we need to clean some more blood. But let's be a bit more careful with how we get through here this time. Let's see. Okay, I'm very first at first that moment. I almost shocked the entire glass. Okay, come on. This oop. a bit too close there. There we go. Now we GTFO. And I'm guessing all of this money is how uh, she got her, her art career started, or noticed at least. So, summarizing what just happened, I spent my whole life trying to impress people. <laughs> we'll only see works like mine as an element of a complicated money laundering plan. With the paper trail that seems connected to some shady agencies, dictators, and military investments. <sighs> Hangman, I hope you're roasting me from up above or down below right now. I know I deserve it. Oh, don't call the cop boss, Hangman. Yeah. So yeah, fuck the art world. Fuck art. And... Fuck every single one of you. Got it, got it. But can we please not provoke each other while at gunpoint? Oh, how cute. This your first time at the wrong end of a gun, Mr. Big Shot Fixer? Wow. Could it be that a stuck-up artist has more experience with staring down the barrel? Blatty, you've seen some deep shit. Got used to the smell. And made it your own. I trust you. Entering Y2K as the queen of shit. Gee, thanks. Does the title come with crown immunity? So, a classic mafia game strategy, you say? I accuse the last failed accuser. 
Hmm. Yeah. I say we end this on Bob, since he might have the most insight on everything. Piss off, guts. Viscera, blood, excrements, that's my life! What else is out there? How about love? Kiss heart, love heart, kiss. You were all aware. Of the girl? Yes. That you live together? Yes. That your loyalties might be split? Um... Hmm. No room for um... Samantha? Severe bipolar disorder. A bit bitchy. Wants a baby and a clean husband? I'm sorry. If I sound mean, it's because I really, really hate not getting invited to weddings. It's just so... fucking sad. I really thought we like each other more than that. Agreed. So, could you remove this tool from my throat, Hal? I don't think I'd be comfortable doing it, Bob. I'm not convinced I'll be comfortable with your uh, expressive storytelling style and disposition. Yeah, he's in the splash show. I don't think I'm some sort of goddamn animal who can't control himself, don't you? Okay, then. Here's a tale, or rather, a testimony of a professional. He might not be respected by his peers, but he follows a code. And does his job well. Let's see. 99. East River. Don Reyna hires a professional crew to break slowly withering Big Joe Bat uh, Bataglia out of prison. These guys botched the getaway and got into a shootout right in the middle of a pileup on Brooklyn, Bri the Brooklyn Bridge. Big Joe's life hangs in the balance, but to walk out of... <clears throat> Walk out the heat with no blisters. He needs to trust a man on fire. Okay. Yeah, that, that is a thing. Okay. Pigs. <coughs> Pigs everywhere. Maybe Sammy was right. I'm always sent into the biggest messes. Nope. Or Mask. Long range pigs. Big Joe in the middle of this big goddamn hog house. Hog house. <laughs> yep. Okay. So do we just need to get him out then? Hmm. There's bodies that we'll likely have to clean up. But let's get to him first. This will be another wounded VIP run, it seems. So it's not just a single time. Come on, can't you just get over that, that psycho or hell? It's, it's, he seems to be good. He's, he's going less and less psycho with everything. Okay. This, is, this is just a massacre at this rate. Where are you going? Yeah, there's no way for them to clean this up. Not the cars, at the very least. Or Hal is going to have a lot. Is going to need to get a lot bigger pocket tailored onto his trench coat. Yeah, I was just expecting to be just gonna grab the VIP here for. This level it is clearly not designed to be cleaned and uh, hide bodies. Okay, that's what the mask is for. You. Of all the people in this cesspit of a city. Oh, the feeling is mutual, sir. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. I'll do a goddamn bow and what now? Are you gonna do me in the way you did my son? Polly. Had it coming. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I'm here to 
get you out. Okay. I very much get the feeling that we'll still have to try and clean the place out. Or at least some of it. Okay, so now we gotta get him to the... Hmm. This is going too easy like this. <laughs> the second guy just doesn't notice at all as his buddy shoots over his shoulder. I was suspecting we just want to have one level a bit... That is a bit extra different. Could be. Let's see. And it uh, says if we all close to the finale, then yeah, then it will just be awkward to just only have one level with a VIP on. There we go. Now, how many is this going to bring in? Brooklyn Bridge! Now! I mean, they Joe's orders. Okay. Nope. Oh, that also brought in more police, it seems. Oh, there's more gunners coming. Okay, I was going to ask, is either of them going to drop over with that over there? They have they had him two on one and they still lost. And again, they were facing someone with a machine gun who wasn't really using, well, not, more an assault rifle. Hey. Okay, Mexican standoff. That just opens. All right. Um, let's just grab any evidence whilst we're going, since we are likely to have to, well, clean some of this up. Gunners are winning so far, it seems. There's only two left here. And the other two are being held up by one cop. <laughs> hey. okay. Did you two actually see him or not? Where you going? Really? Okay, he, he gets shot at, but just doesn't notice at all. The Brooklyn Bridge, now! Okay, I was being a bit too hasty with that one. Okay, are they going to get... Oh, okay, it's, they, they split up here. That's what happens. Take... No, grab the mask. Grab the guy, and go. Nope. Okay, this time we turn into a trade. That mobster. Don't want to walk in between these just in case that will get us killed. This is starting to thir uh, turn. <clears throat> yep, there they go. Okay, now I have two targets. I was about to say this is uh, this is turning into a lethal weapon shootout. <laughs> And apparently one of the actors in that was O.J.'s freaking Simpson. Never knew that, actually. Wait, what? Yeah, not, I'm not entirely sure on that, since... Well, I'm absolutely horrible with people's names. Especially, even more so, a lot of actors and such. But apparently one of them was... Uh, oh, we have to get him to the... 
we don't have to get into our car, we need to get into that car. So yeah, I recall hearing about O.J. Simpson, but I know way too little to provide any comment here on it. And I mostly just stay away from it, considering when I seen how people reacted to the topic. Yeah. What kind of van is that? Or is it... Hmm. Eh, never mind. These idiots splitting up. And any basic tabletop RPG player knows you never split the party. No. Where is that car? Ooh, ooh. Okay, it seems that it's a bit random whether they win or lose. Okay. Where you going? Not sure if we can freaking uh, clean this. Let's, let's, okay, let's give him a bit of a hand. Oh wait, the, okay, he was still alive. But they, they don't shoot them when they're down. Okay. Well, at least we didn't get friendly fired. Yeah, I, I thought we were going to clean this, but I'd be surprised if we were to clean this. I, I get cleaning out most of the areas to, well, lessen the effect of... Oh, Bridge! Now! I mean, Joe's orders. Okay, let's clear out the other side, or at least help the gangsters clear that side out. Hey, you, that should give us a more safe <coughs> passageway. Let's first, let's get him over here, actually. Hey. Okay, are we doing this again? Okay. Um, I can think of one way to help with this. Where you going? Like this and let's see. Can I get a bank? Okay, I can't hit them from here. Can I just throw it down? Yes, I can. There we go. And let's hope this doesn't hit one of our guys in the back of the head. It probably will. Yeah, it's probably not going to do that. Oh, yeah, that's, that'll hit one of them. We don't want that. Uh, well, guess it's this way after all. And that's one mobster gone. Yeah. Where's the other one? Yeah, I guess it is. Considering how many bodies there are, I don't think we are gonna clean this up. Oh, sure, you might clean up the blood, but there's too oh, much to clean up and way too many police. And it's not damn public bridge, so... Yeah. There's another gate there, but it's blocked. We need to get past this one here. Little bit. Drivers just seeing a guy go by with his, uh, carrying someone over their shoulder and not giving a damn. Uh, okay, we just need to clean up the mobsters and the evidence. Okay. Two? Uh, only the mobsters. And uh, the other two I'm st are still alive, I'm presuming. At least 
we got a save point. Somehow he sees the door, but not the guy with the mask. Hey, you, stop! Okay. At, at this point, that boy's line is getting more hilarious than anything else. Like, you're really going to shout stop to the guy with the mask and the trench coat? Yeah, in this case, it's kind of hilarious. Okay, then. We have that evidence over there. We picked up multiple times, but didn't do this time. Okay. There's the evidence in between, and then there's the mobster here. And... Hmm. Okay, where is our drop-off? Do we need to drop, dump them in the car as well? Or do we make them not recognizable as mobsters anymore by cutting them up? Actually, you're a normal cop. I should be able to knock you over and just stuff you away. You oh, damn it. Okay. Get in here. Grab this. A vest of some sort. Can't say if it's explosive or not. Don't just get stuck on that. Where is the other piece of evidence that we need to gather? There's a mobster there. There's the other one. I see the evidence at the end there, but... Where is the last... Oh, there's the big evidence. Let's see. How do we get to that? Is there... Okay, there's a ladder attached to that car. Is that probably it? Technically speaking, since we are on a bridge, we should just be able to chuck stuff over the edge. Okay, we can't cut them up. Guessing Big Joe wants his men and his stuff back. And yeah, here's disposal, even though we didn't get marked really. Let's not try getting in between these two. Really? already coming this way anyways since he spotted the doors so he should be coming this way yeah there he goes all right now what is this thing then it's another vest okay we really can't just throw that out Over, so we go hide. Since, well, they're they're very alert <laughs> all the time, anyways. Hey. Okay. Actually, can I not? Oh, these two are alerted at all times by the gangsters. Is that going to make you two move? Yes, it is. Now, deal with them before I have to carry your asses back as well. Okay, well, you two... Get out the way. Wait, they count... They count as unconscious policemen for some reason? Oh, okay. Who said that now? Nope. Oh, that, w that was one of the cops this way. And someone got themselves... No. 
A cop got killed. I thought it was the mobster. Where's the other... Oh, he's over there. Okay. Let's just cut this open. Get this down. And then we go grab the last of them. And you are coming back. Okay, might as well go this way then. Since this place is now safe. Also, seriously, couldn't you people bring your own freaking <laughs> bulletproof vest or bullet resistant vests uh, with you or back with you for this? Oh dear. Okay, let's bring Dead Joe back to the gang. Okay, definitely a different kind of mission. Unless they are actually going to send us back and try and clean this up. Which I very much doubt and hope against. Nope. Okay, get out. You have my thanks, Hal. But don't think for a second that you've earned yourself clemency. There's no forgiving what you did to Bali. Idiot that he was, he was still my blood. Skip this town. I'd better not <laughs> see you again. Uh, hell, what's with the, the tutu? His tracks were empty, but he didn't know how empty he had. Okay, what do you mean with that? Did he get himself killed after that? So, questions, accusations, inquiries into private relationships, complaints about bodily harm? No foul play detected. I'm in your corner, buddy. Always have been. None. Yeah, lying requires being sly, and Hal is not that put together as a person. I mean that lovingly. Thanks. No. Thanks. Moving on. Elephant in a room. Allow me to address everyone made a good case for themselves. The bar is in your court. Boring mafia players often stay quiet while setting others at each other's throats. Are you playing games with us? Let's see what Bob has to say for all of this. Also, I can't tell if Hal accepted that as... <laughs> If he actually meant thanks, no thanks, or if he changed his mind there or something. Yeah, I was a bit confused. Here we go. <laughs> Just tell us about your job last month, Bob. No lies, no embellishment, no details omitted. You cheeky brats. All right, here it goes. A tale of a bleeding ass. Raw, uncut, X-rated. Okay. What? Midtown. <clears throat> Midtown. Pledging to stay away from criminal ways is one thing, but mob clemency can only go so far. Palmyrie? Or Pal uh, Palmyrie? Yeah, I have no idea how to say that. The Italian ex-con is being hunted by everyone and their mother for many different reasons. Given his knowledge, he might prove useful to someone as resourceful as Don Reyna. So, they sent one more thug to finish the job, eh? Fuck Dio. Just get on with it, you... Oh, that's so very dramatic, pal. But you got it all wrong. We're here to get you out of this mess. We? How many of you? Just enough to pull it off. But... <coughs> Put a sock in it. Christ almighty. Drooling blood all over the place. 
You're making my work harder than it needs to be. Okay, hi, Palmiri. Palmiri, I'm just going to say, in the phone room. Okay, we can only drag you. Okay, that's closed. Probably open with this switchboard over here. Or levers over here. Uh, not going to use through that. Hmm. Yeah, we def we need to slip through here. Might as well grab this here. A ticket. Probably just to get out of the dodge. The pistol with which he was shot. Agile, so he can jump over that. Where are you going? Probably up. Uh, hope we don't get spotted here. No, we, we just got whacked in the face. Okay. Oh dear. Drop you out of sight here. Sneak through. Slip that into our pockets. That one slides in after. And there we go. Hmm. I'm guessing he had a shootout with them or two hit squads met up and uh, started gunning for each other. I'm a little bit surprised. squeeze you through that, but not unless you will lose a lot more blood. <laughs> Liking the tune of this one. Okay, I need the key. This is this one likely. Hopefully. Okay, perfect. Grab you. Close this. And uh, hide you away. <laughs> okay. Access points, okay. Are we going to deal? I think we might bring up everyone here. Okay, open this up, or at least multiple of them. Maybe not Hal, it might not be the best time to bring him out. Um. I don't actually know what that word means. <laughs> Guessing something similar to antiquated. Antediluvian, I recognize that. Uh, wait, can we hide? Okay, we can only hide in that from one side. It makes you very much say it's extremely outdated. Later fixed. No. <laughs> okay, we can't go up the wrong way. Save. Oh, we 
Yeah, th this this place went down big. Triangle key. Hmm. Yeah, I'm guessing it's less of a, of a cleanup and more of a rescue Bailout. mission. But this is way too big to be cleaned up by us. Yeah. It's mostly going to be getting out. Didn't even need to RTFM. on that okay. yeah no clue either again i am rather bad with acronyms quick save mm, what is this a bag of sorts yep. might as well dump it since we're here Triangle key for that door, but we can sneak out through here. Uh, pardon? Pardon? But not excused. <laughs> what? Here's a little burp. Ruler soda? I also I saw Lepsy somewhere <laughs> as a very obvious Pepsi uh, XP. That <laughs> did not mean to go with. <laughs> Pepsi XP. <laughs> Lip. -si oh, that's a horrible. That's horrible party name for Pepsi. For some like something else. Uh, like leper soda or something. Yeah. Slip out. That door just doesn't open at all. Okay. No idea what this is supposed to convey. You done? Jeez, you're ruining it, old man. I did the thingy. Over and out. All right. We're good Star to go. Star Trek reference. Okay. Oh, okay. So we are going to need to clean. Might as well start easy in. then. Yeah. Fuck it. Just drag you in. We'll clean. We'll deal with the blood later. Wait, we can't. No, we need to wrap you up all the same. Let's see. Are they going to follow? Okay, we just can't dispose here at all. Okay. Oh, for more, I thought it was actually to follow. Yeah, that, that would have been a nice little uh, AI thing if they were to follow blood, new blood trails. Oh, oh well. Let's just try and deal with whatever blood we can get our hands on or our vacuum over. Let's see another pistol. It's pretty heavy duty. Okay, so we don't have to go drag this guy all over the place here. Okay, are you going to mess with that or going are you going to leave it open? Speaking, we could lock him in, but he's kind of in there with the guy that we need. <laughs> well, you ought to get rid of the bodies as well somehow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, that didn't amount to much. Also, what the heck is going on in the other room? Uh, this one, you mean, or...? Yeah, what, what odd... 
Are those alien plants or something? Yeah, they, they're plants, it looks like. Yeah, but why are they... I know plants move in the wind, but... There shouldn't be any wind in, in there. I'm guessing they're just made to wiggle to not be as boring. They, they just made it more freakily, especially when it looks like they're glowing. God damn it. <laughs> I just pressed one time too much. Okay, just scoot your ass over the concrete. in here and there's no place for us to squeeze through there okay just gotta wait for this guy to turn it back On by. There we go. Nice of them to put another save station here. Okay, oop, you are coming this way. Hmm. It would have been a lot easier if we had this key here. Let's see, can we actually. There it is. Let's just. Let's go grab that. We could have grabbed this Viper. But oh well. We also need it anyways for there. Okay. Oh, or not. See a file. Oh, that's a latch door. <coughs> okay. <laughs> okay, just get shoved by the door. Let's see then. Can we chuck you over this? No, I, <laughs> he probably would not have appreciated that in the slightest. I doubt he will be happy. Nope. Okay, he's not going to get <laughs> happy about being racked up there. Okay, quickly. And there you go. And now we go clean up. So, what the heck are we supposed to do with the bodies? That? Oh, oh wait. Oh, okay. So those are one time use. It's going to make things a little bit more difficult. Okay. Damn it, there we go. Oh, okay, they can't actually get in here. <laughs> okay. Slip out over here. Clean some of this before he turns around there. Okay, we can dump some bodies in there. Expecting him to go. Oh, wonderful. Stop. 
somewhere you can't reach. So, bye-bye. No, no time for exercise. Bob. Here we go. Something that we got stuck on there for a second. Nope. Bailey is still out with his club. It's another latch door. Three more bodies. I'm not seeing any over here, so they're probably downstairs. Let's see this. Okay, at least there are plenty of disposal spots all over the place. Now that we have exactly enough to deal with the corpses. How's this guy down here? Oh dear. Hmm. And the time we have. Okay, I'm feeling 50 50 be able to finish this, this game today or not. Yeah, so far, the acts have been four stories each mostly. And we are probably on the finale then. Yeah, I'm thinking. Probably one more. Oh, 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 there is exactly enough disposal spots. Okay, that. I retract my previous statement. Yeah, I suspect that's probably a one final one after this. Yeah. But I did say it was the final chapter, so. Bonk. So there's very likely one more of these scenes. I would say likely, for I'm not ruling out that it's uh, uh, the game ends here for... I'm not gonna rule that out. It's unlikely, but I will not be surprised. Yeah, unless there's oh. like a really long cutscene where uh, the mastermind comes forward or something. Yeah. So if they do that without other level, that, that will just be disappointing. Okay, but Mona, I thought he was going into the area there. Maybe that one is going. Uh, I said, the more thing I did. I think actually we would be slightly surprised. Or rather, more, a, bit, more, a bit surprised and disappointed. But there is no level after this one. That, that is not the, that they ain't the final one. So this I is, don't really want to lock him in there. For the videos ends after this episode here. Again, I will be also a bit surprised, but also very disappointed. Is he locked in there now? I think so. Hmm. At least he's delayed. We will need to get in there to get rid of two of the bodies. But uh, then we just need to lure him to somewhere else. For now, though, let's stop dragging these bodies around and start wrapping them up. Since we can carry them a lot faster than we can drag them. I he did not hear a damn thing. You are going to turn away. Or not. Okay, then we just go deal with this body here. This junior is gone. I'm thinking those fire extinguishers are also one time use. So let's be careful with them. Don't mind me. So I have to say that the uh, crime scene and public space thing has... Oh. Okay, apparently he was hiding on the other side. 
uh, it hasn't been used as much as I thought it would be. Uh, wait, what? Uh, uh, that we could be in an area and not be considered suspicious. Uh, that hasn't come up as much as I thought it might be. Yeah, that's kind of odd, actually. Or we just missed most of the time. By just hanging around in the crime scenes constantly. Or it depends on the difficulty for... Wait, was there a difficulty? Uh, yeah, we are on medium, I believe. that we're going to need to clean. Yep. And there's Viper. Probably should have been cleaning as we went, but oh well. Well, not always easy when you're trying to avoid the cop. like that. Yeah, he's out of breath, but he's leading us right to this one. Ooh. Swing and a miss. Are they going to lose me in this for only a second? Now we lost one of them at least. Okay, please come into my office and stay in there, please. <laughs> Have fun. <laughs> oh dear. Watch out for the other one. Yeah, he's trying the other one. <laughs> okay. Well, that opens this area up this side up entirely. Hello, don't mind me. Just doing my job, do, doing criminal stuff. Morning and goodbye. It's afternoon. So let's dump this one away further since we still have that spot over there. Blondie over here doesn't turn around. It just goes in a circle. And there we go. Probably would have been better if we dropped one of the corpses from up here in there, but oh well. from the inside, so it's only really a hiding spot from out. Oh dear. And this is a lot of blood that we need to clean. Oop. Hey, you Oop. Stop. Holy. Dodged the bullet a bit literally. Yeah. And let's see, okay, the grass in those things are not moving, but the flowers are... There we go. I feel like they made a little mistake that by making the flowers glow and move. Maybe. It's not too much of a thing. Na 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 na. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that, 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 that's the first time I hear you say that. Oh, the cop downstairs heard that. Can he actually go up the escalator, though? That's the question. Oh, 
save before we do anything stupid. He's distracted, so we can go this way. And let's see, where is the last stiff? <laughs> He's still locked in there. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Since we're doing, F since we're dealing with the thing with bodies now, anyways, there's a show that was on, I think, Discovery for a bit, or one of their subsidiaries, uh, called Doctor G Medical Examiner, uh, which isn't the same as like uh, a coroner, uh, like isn't, but it was pretty interesting, and it. Also a bit informative as to how small things can get you killed if you are not uh, paying attention to your health and such. There we go. Just enough, I think. Now, where is the last one? Yeah, there's a lot of small things that can uh, really break a person's heart. Like, uh, what are they called? I think, I think they're called angel snails or angel slugs. Oh, there they are. Like, someone on a video were holding one of those pretty things without realizing that uh, he was looking at it and thing did not sting him or bite him. But that thing would basically kill the person who held it... Uh, what was it, like, within two minutes or something? Um, I know there's a tiny... Uh, just a really tiny jellyfish that is extremely venomous or poisonous. I, for I constantly forget what is the difference. Uh, but yeah, that is not to be messed with. And yeah. There we go. But I meant more uh, med small medical things, on instead, not med small creatures or such. Oh yeah, there's a lot of daily diseases and whatnot that can. You may not, uh, you may overlook. Or just heart problems. Five to midnight, five to two thousand. Oh, I think I deserve some applause for spinning a compelling tale with two guns in my face. A tale of fabrication. A lie. Easy, bud. Bob could have easily sold Palmieri out to the cops, but he didn't. I trust him. Peace. What do I always tell you? No way out of this life. I do hate my own lessons. Yeah, it was a shockingly coherent and down-to-earth story of doing the impossible. Pretty cool. You might not be as senile as I thought. Cheeky broad. <laughs> oh, witness protection. What? Midnight is coming. TBH, I think you're all lying through your teeth. None of what you're saying matches what I remember. Pot. Kettle. Black. Yeah. Don't act like you've been any better. You are either making shit up or a complete idiot. Yes, it just happens that I'm an idiot. An idiot with a very itchy trigger finger. Please. Ugh. Screw it. This is against the rules of a Mexican standoff, isn't it? Is there a protocol for something like this? What the hell are you doing? What an adult in the room should do. Do I have proof? No. But you want to know what I think? I think we all talked, one way or another. Now, huh? your gal, bless her heart, gave you a book about Federal Witness Protection Program this Xmas. Did it ever cross your mind not to keep it in the car where I can see it, pal? It was nothing. You're reaching. 1996, an encyclopedia of whistleblowers. 1997, a book of famous mob informants. 1998, Hegel and Kant. She got you reading Critique of Pure Reason and you're still with her? Buddy, you love this girl. You're torn, but you will try to get out of this life. Just take her and run to Zawadanejo or whatever. Aaron, it's a wild shot, but are you that Cali Yuga Serpent Priestess Geo Cities uh, whatever online person? Ooh? 
A bullseye, huh? Yeah. Old farts can use the Alta Vista search too, honey. And we do have a lot of time. I wasn't sure, but hey, if there's one person in this room I could suspect of talking to Will of the Universe. Technically, this is not me, but an online persona I invented to cope. It's kind of like the art of wrestling or... I'm not a specialist, but it sure sounds like that universe or whatever is your conscience speaking. If it's telling you to spill your beans, go off. But cover your ass first, and ours, if you'd be so kind. This is the most embarrassing moment of my life. I swear to God, I will... Please, don't. <laughs> it's... it's okay. Lottie. You think I'd ever talk to the police? Or the government? You really don't know anything. If I had to hazard a guess, you'd contact Hangman's old crew to help you disappear forever. After finishing the work, you wanted to start as a whistleblower. All right? You wanted to be a good man. It was a huge help. Doubt he ever managed to tell you. <laughs> and me? I'm an old survivor asshole. I play for all the teams at all times. Maybe I've overplayed my hand somehow. Maybe it led to those pager messages we got. Hell if I know. It's all a fucking tragedy anyway. Or a comedy, if there's any difference at all. Ep what now? Yeah, what now? Is the mob coming? Is the police out to get us? Well, we got like a minute of the 1990s left. Might as well see what the 2000s bring. Nothing lasts forever. Everything rots all the time. You'll rot too. Be ready for it. Hell, I'm already rotten to the bone. It's just that sometimes you don't see the wriggling worms. You don't feel the sickeningly sweet stench. But sometimes I think that sweet smell before the rot reaches your nostrils, that's the most intoxicating. 2000 is almost here. Want to count down? Yeah. Sure. Five, four, three, two, one. time already, old man? None of the sorts, Chuckles. I'll meet you outside, all right? Yeah. Be there in a minute. Okay, I'm starting to think that these Mitchells really did have a dead man's switch with dirt on them. Or something. Or at least a dead man's switch to try... Where is the fucker? I called it! I don't re wait. We'll see. It could be that they got rid of the body already. Either they got rid of the body, the body's missing, or the developers forgot the body. I don't think that. I guess this is it. Sure seems so. Come on. Why the long face? It had to come to an end. Better this way than another. It was good. While it lasted. Enough with the shizzle. No, I'm not tearing up. You're gonna be all right, folks. Have if I know. Everything around us gets weirder by the day. Yeah. So, what you gonna do now? Oh, uh, you know. Whatever one does in such circumstances. Shake things up a little. Uh, turn over a new leaf. Move to Arizona. Get a shift in perspective. Hope. That this time something somehow will actually change for the better. It won't. It never does. But what else is there? Hmm. All the stories. Okay, I'll have to look up on TV tropes or 
there, I think we are missing something. Hmm. Unless it's one of those we need to do a perfect score to get another story or something. Yeah, I what they are planning that. a DLC, perhaps? Yeah, I'm not sure. It's it's still early enough, uh, too early to actually say if they are going to put out DLC or anything. There was the deal. Was the DLC for the first? There was the extra levels. I don't really recall if there was DLC or not. Hmm. Did motion capture specialist? Okay. Okay, so they did have motion capture. <laughs> I'm guessing then the no the, the no lip movement mouth movements was more of a artistic design thing. Hmm. Yeah, is that mind? Let's see. I don't want to skip over. Okay, an L with a bit of a thing through it. Not see. Could that be? No, it's that. That is not just an artistic thing with the letters themselves, because there's no else as well. Okay. Music and soundtrack. Okay, they had a jazz quartet. Chamber or orchestra. Okay. Recorded in studio S4 of Polish radio. Alright. Yeah, a lot of names look rather Polish. Okay, I was about to say it's nice that all the names are alphabetical, but then this one has to break it, because J, O, and then back to D. Let's see. Production services. <laughs> Brands. Creative services. Marketing and PR. 505. Wait, 505. Didn't they do some other games with did on something someday and maybe let me take a look at the steam app here again uh, da, da. yes freaking i think that something with steam is that they aren't allowed to save your birthday or something but it still it still remembers the freaking year every time so go with the freaking year that i was that i've said i was born dumbass and leave the rest out that should be enough to tell if i Old enough or not. Uh, let's see. Uh, ta -ta -ta -ta. Wait, what? <laughs> oh. Okay. Well, this is a bit curious because I scroll down a bit and one of their award winning titles. Uh, actually, I think. Let me double check. 505 are the publisher. Okay, yeah. Uh, they've also published Control. That's why I recognized it! <laughs> and let's see, anything else? Uh, oh dear. An upcoming game called Nivalis. Death Stranding Director's Cut. Uh, some racing games. Total Tank Generals. Uh, let's see. Uh, nothing I recognize in that. Puzzle Quest. Bleh. Rescue Party, Grow, Song of the Evertree, Red Solstice 2. Yeah, since they are a publisher, it's going to be very varied, of course. Rogue Spirit, can't say I know of that. Journey to the Savage Planet, that was a pretty nice game, from what I recall of it. Drawn oh, to Life, Ghost Runner, uh, Memories of Mars. Indivisible, Indivisible, I think I got that game recently. Oh, Horus, that was a nice little game, and... Ink woke up. <laughs> oh, Bloodstained, Rich Love the Night as well. And yeah, just a long list of good games. Or plenty of good games in there. I don't know if all of those are. <clears throat> Let's see, is there anything going to be... Is there yeah, going to be anything behind the scenes? Yeah, that's what I'm curious about. Oh, voice actors. Alex Perone as Don Rina, the Echo Killer, the ex-Underboss and Big Joe. Andres Williams as Rico Salona. David Cherry as some dude, Hangman, Warden and Liaison. Eliza Gabriela, Mother and Civilians. Emily Wald, Samantha. Horatio Bakersville, Additional Voices. Kino Rogenson as Lati. Kendra Fountain as Will of the Universe, Neighbor and Police. Mark Dodson as Bob, Michael Freeland as Psycho, 
and Tessa Medina as Viper. And the original cleaner team. Okay. Hmm. The original. There could be people that left, or people who made the first game and didn't work on this one, maybe, or maybe they did work on both of them. It, it's yeah, always nice it's to have people from the old team help with something. Yeah, no, that's quite a lot. No, hmm. Depending how many were not of the original team that were not on this one, that could explain the weird feeling we had about this game. Maybe. I think it's just a bit of a... Just a, they made a big leap and they, stum they stumbled a little bit on the landing, but they still stuck it for the most part. And we have the company babies, Henia Paluma, Oleg Yania, Kalina Yania, oh, sister, no, I, I have no idea if those are male or female names, Kalina sounds female, Ola Nenart, uh, Mikolai Bjanovski, and Tobias Whiteman. Okay. And <laughs> company pets. <laughs> okay. But yeah, I'm guessing those were probably twins then. <laughs> company rabbits. Okay. I'm guessing these weren't all kept at the company, just <laughs> uh, pets of the people who work at the company. Also Corsair, yeah, I, I, I kept forgetting this, and mostly probably because I was using the, uh, the controller, but uh, this game, or Corsair keyboards, as like I have, uh, do react to this game, as in, in the main menu, it, it uh, makes it seem like the keyboard is being, is rainy. It's always nice when a game has a special little something for RGB keyboards. Well, uh, that, that, that would probably freak me out if I did not expect it. <laughs> it has caught me off guard a few times. I know Terraria also does it, though I'm not sure how many other games. And Okay, no after thing. Do you have to unlock any outfits anywhere in time? Nope. Okay, we from levels. Wise guy, glass trap. Okay. Bob's broken heart. Duct crawler. <laughs> okay. Looking a bit like Max Payne from the third game. Um, and again. Duct cr kill duct crawler. Think yeah. here now. If there is a reference, I'm completely missing it. In oh, for art. love of. Just spit it out. Yippee yay! Oh. <laughs> that, yeah, okay, now I get it. Yeah, that duck crawling isn't that rare of a thing in movies. And yeah, here's the <clears throat> here's the outfit that Lottie started with. Uh, five points. <laughs> okay, April Leticia. Uh, this is likely a reference to something that I'm not getting. And then just... <laughs> Pink bucketed for the last skin. Okay, I like that the the skins are related more re really. <laughs> that just what the seems to so not fit. I like that they're unlocked through gameplay, not having to look around for random stuff and such. Soap seller. <laughs> Great gumshoe. Uh, I thought that was... I'm pretty sure that was just supposed to be some level geometry that he accidentally warped into, but... Okay. And this one looks a bit more coherent than the others with the street art. Yeah. The... I don't hate this game, but I don't love it. Like, I... Again, part of it I'm impressed by. But... No? No? I do feel slightly disappointed with the story. Like, there was a lot of things they could have done well, but... Yeah, it could also just be that we missed a lot of the hints or such. Yeah, mm. but... Mm. Nope, 100% cleared. Okay. 100% cleared. And 100% cleared. Is that with... Hmm. We have to clean up a certain amount of the blood as well with that. 
probably. I will not be surprised if you get a special ending for perfect score on everything. No, I still doubt that. Yeah, yeah I doubtful, but I will not be surprised. Oh, yeah, still overall a very good game, uh, or a, at least a, at the very least a good game. I would say it's uh, it would rate in a great game almost. Uh, hmm. It, it is just a very good game. It is. I didn't expect like triple A stuff or such, and like I said in the first one, it really freaking surprised me with how big of a jump they made. Uh, maybe the story a bit lacking. Not on the characters, but more in a uh, yeah, more overarching thing, perhaps would have been more uh, liked. Or we just we just missed all the pieces. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time, probably. Yeah, and the ending was rather... I... Nope. Mm. I don't know, mm. something... I, I don't hate it, but I don't love it either. I, I think I'm very neutral to this one. Like, it is good, but I would not call it fantastic. It does feel like there are some pieces missing, but that is something that you get when you jump around time so much between different people. Like, yeah. That, that, that's who was this Mitch think... Mitchell, for example? Yeah, I... That's probably why I probably feel so weird on it, but if... It jumped around so much. Hmm. Still, I enjoyed my time with this. And oh, yeah. we didn't go as short as I feared we might. We still have about half an hour to go. Um, I'm thinking we should just leave it at this. Otherwise, we would just have a half hour episode of the next game that we'll be starting as the side project, which is Headlander. Yeah, we, I say we... Hmm. If we stream this evening... This I hope really means after you said you slept a bit better today, yeah. you might have a better chance. We could go for Tomb Raider, Slime Runner, or Headlander. Uh, yeah, I'm personally thinking we continue with Tomb Raider. We have already made very good progress in that game. We are not, it were, we are not in the end of it, but we are in the latter half of it, I'd say, or I think, from my poor memory. And um, yeah, we have put in a, a few more streams of the side project than we typically do, but oh well. Yeah, and I think uh, I misheard you. Hmm? Did you say you had a four gig memory? No, a, a poor memory. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. But uh, yeah, we'll see what happens tonight. Uh, probably Tomb Raider, uh, perhaps without uh, Rom present. But if he is present, then we could probably do our third binary domain stream which has been a while since we've done that and yeah we probably I, prioritize that as well when he's available yeah i commented to him before stream that we would have been having a lot of bayonet domain time of late did you almost say bayonetta for some reason i don't know what i was to say there <laughs> i'm <was> sure actually <laughs> either way a bit shorter of a stream but not bad of a stream. So, yeah. let's go look for someone to raid. Let's see. Twitch. Mute the the site. Cannon. <laughs> and, of course, change the screen share over to the browser. Here we go. And let's see. Who is on... Who are online? We have Sour Walvis, who is streaming the, the Dragon Ball Z Kakarot again. We have Pegasico, who is back to Disney Dreamlight Valley. I think they streamed that before. We have WBPL76 with Magic the Gathering. Okay, let me take a peek. Are, is that a game, or are they just playing the ta the card game? Uh, yeah, they are just playing the card game. Uh, I'm a Flanker is doing a... Sci oh, they're doing a PC building stream. Uh, Kiri Natsuyoko is once more streaming Doom 2. And then we have Horatius the Dwarf, who is streaming Wild Hearts, which came out either like today or yesterday or something. I know very little about it, except that it's a sort of spiritual sequel to Bioshock, I think. That sounds hmm. kind of curious, like Bioshock by werewolves or something? Mm, no, it's uh, from what I know, it's set more in an alternate history 
where the Soviet Union discovered uh, some um, almost magical material similar to Singularity, but not without the time travel shenanigans, and it actually spread worldwide instead of just nuking one uh, island. And no, that's not to say that it's a post-apocalypse or something. It's not Metro. Okay. Yeah. Any of those sound interesting, or shall we look for someone else? I say let's raid raid you the dwarf. Let, let's give support to the dwarf. <laughs> okay, and it's Horatius, not Horatio. <laughs> Small correction. Yeah, I really should go oh, find someone to. Uh, wait, is oh they wait they changed it? Did I just completely misread it, or did they change the game? Because now it says Wild Hearts. Hmm. You said the wild hearts. Oh, uh, okay. I'm just I'm showing off my poor memory, or uh, apparently, uh, okay. I I get it now. I was mixing up Atomic Hearts and Wild Hearts since they came out recently. This game is more of a, uh, hmm. it it is very Monster Hunter like, though I don't know what makes it different. Or really uh, sets it apart somehow. I know there's a bunch of structure stuff, but for my, for most, nor bleh, most of my knowledge, it is, uh, yeah, Monster Hunter, but a different uh, developer or something like that, or maybe even the same developers. I don't, I don't freaking know. Either way, though, copy the name, go to our place. And try to ignore how much of an idiot I am at times. So slash raid and paste. Hey there. And yeah. Uh, let's see. Like we said, if we can do an evening stream, uh, we'll have to see what it is. <laughs> Either we do more Tomb Raider, maybe dump binary domain if ROM is available, and if not, we can do some uh, we can do some Slime Rancher or perhaps do an early start on Headlander. Yeah. We have a lot of options here. Because uh, I do want to blow your mind with that, so to speak. <laughs> you mean I, like I... how I blow your mind on a daily basis? <laughs> yeah, I, I've asked uh, I've asked Rakir to <laughs> try and avoid looking up as much as possible about Headlander to just see I his almost did. Yeah, to see his but original I, I, reactions. I saw the first thumbnail, the six seconds that I saw your message that stopped myself. So I only seen six seconds, six <laughs> seconds of a video. Okay, say that five, say that fast six times. No. <laughs> you want? Fine. Uh, either way, though, uh, thank you again. Anyone has been watching now or later, and thank you as always, Rakir. You're welcome as always, my friend. Yeah, these these streams wouldn't be half as entertaining without you. Oh, <laughs> same. Oh, wait. <laughs> You're going to do all the hard work. Yeah. <laughs> and, yeah. Until next... Uh, uh, yeah. <clears throat> uh, I forgot what I, the other half of my outro. But, uh, yeah, thank you all again for watching. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then, also let's start this raid. Be safe, everyone. Have a lovely day and watch out for ship rats.